Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Civilization Beyond Earth playthrough playing as a Cavithan Protectorate using the Supremacy Affinity. And today we're going to be continuing our war with the Pan Asians and the Slavic Federation. And we already have something to do which is to use Harsha to attack this combat rover. So let's do that. And that's got to hurt the Pan Asians there. Move this gunner on to that tile. And I'll actually just quickly move on this CNDR so that we can fortify there. We'll rebase this tack jet to Harsha. And all is well, I think. Let's just uh, move on this artillery ourselves so that we don't get stuck in miasma this turn. And we'll move on that armor as well there. And we'll just tell him to stay there. That means none of our units will end in Miasma like they probably would. The road seems to have disconnected here since I was last playing. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to work. They are still connected with Mandira, so all is well. Made of chitin, storm and lightning, how's your garden grow? Miasma mist and beetle hiss and siege worms in a row. So we've got alien genetics now, which is going to give us extra culture from biowell improvements and extra science from Xenomass wells. Every day I think of Earth, because a word or phrase evokes a lesson I learned long ago and gets me what I need. And that's going to give me level 2 purity, which means I can now work on gene gardens, I think they are. Yeah, gene gardens to get extra health, which is really useful. And I am going to probably be building them ASAP. So Java can now fire again onto this missile rover, but it doesn't look like it's going to do much damage. I wish the CNDR was ranged. That would be really useful right now. But I am probably just going to fortify there for now with that unit. Probably should have clicked fortify until heal, but never mind. Um, actually, I'll move that CNDR forwards. So we'll put the gunner there. Yeah, but we'll do just that. We can get this tack jet to attack this combat rover on the sea. It's going to have fun doing that by the looks of things. Meanwhile, we can move on the artillery and the CNDR and the armor. Get our raptor bug on the move as well, and this armor as well. Now we've got another tack jet I believe, so let's use that to destroy the vessel completely. And that is it. Unfortunately the animations do get stuck a bit. Yeah, it's going to continuously fly around and fire missiles onto that poor unit for a pretty long time by the looks of things. There we go. <laughs> Didn't quite destroy the combat rover, but did enough damage to uh, make a difference. So that's good. Anyway, uh, that's all again for this turn, I think. Oh, we can use Pran to attack the Siege Worm before we forget. And that's all. Let's move on. My CNDR there being attacked by the gunboat. Might be worth actually buying a vessel to uh, counteract those gunboats. CNDRs though being attacked there by the tack jets and oh, it looks like shooting them all down. <laughs> it's blown up all three of the tack jets. Well they didn't last very long did they? I sort of expected them to put up some sort of fight but at the moment <laughs> no fight at all really. We've got um, Azraya, can now work on the gene garden there. We'll get Harsha to work on a trade depot. And in Agni, we can start work on the old Earth Relic. Now we can use Agni to attack these aliens, but I'm not going to just yet. There's a worker here, interesting. I actually moved my Raptor Bug into range of Mr. Chicknick, and I probably shouldn't have done that. 
but oh well. Let's move on all of these units. We'll continue bombarding the missile rover with Javed. And that will do. I'll actually just tell this unit to wake up and then we'll put him into fortify until he healed. So I know that I can use him as soon as he's fully healed again. And that way I will always remember to move that unit if the Slavics uh, come on land. Now as for this unit here, can we attack this combat rover? Yes we can. So let's do that. Brilliant. And the reason we can do that is because they are on a hill so they can see over this hill. Now I am going to stay out of range of Chu Yan for now until I get my hands on a artillery to come over. So that will do for now. We'll just fortify that CNDR there. This tack jet can now go into air intercept mode. And same with this tack jet. Great. Now the trade convoy from Javed can now trade with Agni. We need to think about getting another colonist up here, but probably won't do that while I'm at war. Gunboat trying to attack my CNDR there, not doing very much damage at all. Looks like Mr. Chicknick didn't really do much damage to my Raptor either. But now this missile rover is on land, I'll literally just go and destroy it with the CNDR. My trade unit was destroyed. That's a shame. Where was that from? I do not know. Well, I'm probably going to have to replace that then. We'll uh, attack the gunboat with Javed and we'll move the CNDR to attack the missile rover. Although that doesn't look like it's going to happen this turn. That's annoying because there's a hill in the way. <laughs> probably should have seen that. But um, we'll move on this CNDR move forwards the artillery and the armor there. We'll get the raptor bug out of range for now and put him into sleep mode so he can get some health back. Shall move forwards this armor and we will, we will wait just there. We'll get this tack jet to possibly move to Agni actually if we can. We'll move to Asrea first and then we'll move it up to Agni and then put it into air intercept mode so that the tack jet that's in Istachiknik doesn't kill off my units before they attack the city. And Syria will work on a gene garden and in Sabda we will possibly do the same. Actually, I'll probably get a trade convoy and I can just send that to the city that lost it. Continue bombarding the siege worm. And Gunner can fortify for now. So the artillery built at Syra can move over to Harsha. And the artillery at Mandira can actually move up to Istachiknik once it's built. And the trade convoy from Mandira can now trade with Agni. We need to boost the production of health buildings there, really. It's a shame the uh, missile rover moved on to water again. And somehow, my melee unit managed to shoot down attack joke. Gotta love that. Over here, easily shot down those attack jets with the help of the air interception from my own attack jets and the power of the CNDRs anyway. And move this artillery up towards Istachiknik. And we'll start building a gene garden there. 
in Vasanta. I will work on Gene Garden as well. Because currently we're at minus 21 health, which is actually crazy. The amount of uh, negative modifiers it gives us. We're going to have to be careful of that. Anyway, I'm going to fortify until healed that CNDR there. And I think now we can move forwards my units into range of Vista Chicknick. So I can move forwards that artillery there. We'll move the armor around there. That armor can actually move possibly to attack that raptor bug, but I don't want to finish in miasma. So we'll move to that tile there and then attack the raptor bug possibly, or we can just fortify. I might do that instead. We've got these CNDRs moving up. I'm gonna leave that raptor bug sleeping so he gets his health back. This tack jack can now rebase to Agni. Next time we can put him on an interception to stop the uh, attack jet from Ista Shuknik. And that's all well. Move on that CNDR. Oh, probably shouldn't have put him into Miasma. It looks like the gunboats are going to be starting to attack Jarved. Kind of a bit pointless. At least it seems that way. Attack jets coming in and attacking my raptor bug now. Kind of annoying. Artillery and the town attacking the armor. Which is okay. At least they're not attacking the artillery. Over on this side. Attack jets, attacking my CNDR again, but doing pretty much nothing. And look at that, a lot of things to read. <laughs> We've got to choose production in Jarved. We'll start work on a gene garden. In Agni, we shall get the clinic, and I'm actually gonna to add to the queue the pharma lab and the cyter nursery as well. I may as well add in the gene garden there as well. The quest decision. When the levees broke. We can get free maintenance for water refineries. Or we can get plus one food from water refineries. I think we'll do that. Veterancy gained for my CNDR. Awesome. This CNDR. Not able to do much at the moment. So that's fine. Can use the attack from Javed to kill off this gumbo. Since we completed that building there, it's made Javed a lot more powerful, which is why we can pretty much one-shot those gun boats now. The trade route from Syrah can trade with Agni as well. We really need to boost out those health buildings. And I'm actually going to leave this CNDR here for this turn. we we'll move on this CNDR towards the town. And this artillery can now set up and start bombarding the town. Going to move the Raptor Cloud as far away as possible so it doesn't get attacked by the Tac Jets. And we're going to just fortify that armor, put this Tac Jet to air interception mode, and we'll fortify the CNDR just here. So I'm going to move up this one manually because I want him to go up there and then fortify until healed. Same with the CNDR. Awesome. If you hadn't already noticed, we are starting to get some Supremacy Affinity buildings. Uh, our cities are starting to convert towards that kind of thing, which is awesome. Continue attacking the Seed Worm. And we're not going to do it at Agni just yet. Before I forget, let's just choose an operation for our agent in Chu Yen. We'll actually steal some science. And we now have a lot of money from stealing 501 from the Pan Asians in the last turn.
the armor being attacked again. Like that tile's just out of range of the air interception, unfortunately. Did lose the armor unit there. Don't have to be too concerned about that. If they killed off a CNDR, then I'd be worried. Now Java just can just kill off this Slavic gunboat. And the CNDR can stay where he is again. We get the trade convoy from Sabda to trade with for Santa. So we can go to Pran with that uh, trade actually. And in Sabda itself we can get a gene garden there. Now this raptor bug can go to sleep further back. Actually I'll put him into my own territory first and then tell him to go to sleep. Continue bombarding Ista Chicknick. And we should be able to take it this turn, actually. Yeah, the uh, CNDR should be able to take it over. There we go. Right, I don't want this city, so we are going to raise it. And um, that'll do. Get this CNDR to move further up. Now the reason I don't want the city really is because I want to place my own down that's in a better position because I don't think this is a great one to have. I will probably keep this one because it's in range of these two units of Fraxite but this one's kind of pointless so I could probably just have one a bit further down and then make use of uh, a few more of these resources. But um, that's all I think. No other defense strikes I can make, and yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the next turn. So doing well against the Russians at the moment. But, um, but not really taking advantage of the Pan-Asians just yet. Now Mandira can work on a repair facility so he can pump out units quicker. And now Vasanta is actually connected with my capital because Javed got co connected with the capital. And Javed is connected with Vasanta by sea. And that's how it works. So that's good. Works out quite nicely. That is the Chicknick. We don't really have to worry about what we're building there. It's going to disappear next turn anyway. But I guess we have to in order to move on with the next turn. Leave that CNDR where they are and we'll move forward with this artillery. I'm not going to shoot down these Miasmic Repulsors mainly because they're helpful for me as well. If it was something that threatened me, then I might. But we're just going to move on these CNDRs for now. Actually, I'll probably fortify that one until healed. And we did capture a worker from that city, which is awesome. So we're going to automate him, and he'll end up traveling back to our own land. Move up the armor and fortify them there. Out of range of the city of Asfatoi, I guess that is. As Adam Smith said, trade is the lifeblood of nations. Suzanne Fielding would like open borders, but uh, no thanks. I'm okay, thank you very much. And in the same turn, she declared war on Elodie. Now I could use Ister Chicknick to base my attack jet for now, but I'm not sure what happens if the city becomes raised with your units in it. 
CNDR there, though, shooting down attack jet with the help of the air interception. Cognition in the human brain should not be of elevated status because it is implemented in cells instead of silicon. We've now researched artificial intelligence, which gives us access to the surveillance web and the Markov Eclipse. We can also get the cell cradle. Now I'm not sure which ones of those wonders have already been built. And the Markov Eclipse actually hasn't. So I'll add that to the queue in Mandira so we can work on that. And uh, meanwhile, in Asrea, we can work on a defense perimeter. Yep. In Pran, we can work on the trade depot and our new research. So we finally have to choose another research. I think I'll, I may head towards the synthetic thought to unlock the saber, but we don't actually have nine affinity levels in supremacy yet in order to actually use that. It might be worth going down some other technologies first. Like possibly the supremacy affinity here would be useful, the autonomous systems. Because we can get a node which will give us two energy and it heals adjacent units for 20 HP every turn. That's pretty interesting. More of a defensive thing though. And you can also get master control, which all workers receive plus one movement and provides a free network in the city in which it's built. So is that, I'm, I'm assuming that's a wonder then, if it does that. Could be useful. Let's see what other options we have. Could head towards climate control to get a weather controller, which gives us plus one food on tiles I own. Um, or we could get Collaborative Thought to unlock the Precog project, but I think somebody may already have that wonder under their control anyway. We need to tech towards something that gives us Supremacy Affinity, because otherwise it's going to take us a while to unlock any of the units. So let's go towards synthet Synthetic Thought. Actually, we'll go towards Autonomous Systems first and then Synthetic Thought. Yeah, we'll do it, do it that way. I think that'll work out better. Attack Jet has leveled up, so let's give him discipline and set him back onto air interception. I'm just going to fortify that CNDR there now, because it doesn't look like the uh, Slavics are ever going to actually attack me. And we can move on these CNDRs into range of that city, and then we can move on the artillery. Get the combat rover to start moving to the left, and we can start dealing with these marines if we have to. Just tell that CNDR to do nothing for this turn. Got another artillery unit coming up, which is good. Very helpful. Look at this. Four tiles in a row of trade convoy units. Pretty cool. Actually using the highway there. Creating a massive link between all my cities. Now I need to make sure that I take advantage of the trade depots as soon as I'm able. because uh, I am building a couple and the CNDRs did shoot down one of the attack jets there which is really cool and we finally got rid of the city so we can move on take that city I'm actually tempted to actually destroy that as well because it's gonna get annoying if it's like in the wrong place I'd much rather just place my own cities and make sure that they are in the right place to begin with Right, I think I might actually start moving towards Chi Yan. Look 
fortify there with that CNDR and I'll move forwards this gunner so I can get this artillery onto the hill behind. It's really annoying that the camera jumps back like that for the, the automated unit selection. We are going to blow the crap out of that raptor bug if we can. Well, we can't, so maybe not. No, we don't want to delete the unit. I always do that by accident. We'll just attack the raptor bug instead then here. With both these units. Probably should have attacked it with this unit first. Because now I'm going to have this CNDR really close to the city and it might get destroyed. Hmm, that's annoying. But it does allow us to get this artillery onto a tile which can actually attack the city, which is good. And the armour here. I might actually move on to the sea briefly. Yeah, that'll be fine. Get up this artillery. And it looks like the artillery that was hanging around Jarved, the Slavic one, has moved away. So we can get this CNDR now to move up towards the Slavics. Now what kind of boats can we get? I think I'll buy a gunboat so that we can chase down this Slavic missile rover and possibly destroy it. Our health seems to be going back to normal, which is good. With all the gene gardens finishing and so on, that should get a lot better. I'm going to actually build a miasma repulsor in Syra because we need to get rid of the miasma up here. Because that is getting in the way of when my units are moving forwards at the moment. I also need another Miasma Repulsor for down here. And I could probably actually start building a lot of trade convoys. So CNDR there. <laughs> well, I thought it would die that turn, but it didn't. It didn't take much damage at all. If I'm honest. Uh, the city of Chuyen doing a lot more damage to the uh, CNDR. And again, with the help of the air interception, we've shot down another attack jet unit. Now in Harsha, we should work on a thorium reactor. Kind of run out of production there. I think that's because I've stopped trading with the city. Over here we can upgrade the CNDR, which is cool. Swap around those units and actually let's make sure that we give him the 50 HP he needs to stay alive that turn. I'm really not sure if I can take advantage of attacking the city just yet. I don't think I have enough melee units to really attack it effectively. So I'm going to bring the CNDR out of range. And I am just going to fortify the gunner there and the artillery behind it. We'll get this gunboat to move forwards and then attack the missile rover there. Trade convoy from Mandira can trade with Harsha because it's low on production. We'll need that boost in order to build that thorium reactor. The CNDR can continue its way around to the other side. And um, I kind of need to get this CNDR over onto this tile, but if I approach from C it's just going to get destroyed in one hit. Maybe what would be worth doing instead is Moving this CNDR onto this tile and then moving the artillery onto this tile next turn. That's not the most ideal thing to do because I would like to start attacking the city this turn with the artillery. But we'll see. Get the armor back onto land there. This turn they can just fortify until healed actually. Get some health back. Might be useful. Okay. I think that's all good. So let's move on to the next turn.
Now they're attacking my artillery. Frustrating. That's probably gonna die this turn, surely. Not quite. Got a lot of damage though. Really does suck. Now the only reason I moved the artillery there actually was because the CNDR was in a predicament with its health. I probably wouldn't have had to move it had I realised that it had levelled up. It's a bit silly from my perspective. Oh well, let's uh, recover some HP on that unit. We shall swap it with that unit. Awesome. That unit can fortify until healed there. We'll get the Miasmic Repulsor. Start clearing some of the Miasma up here, I think. Now let's do it like that. And then I can place another one here. But um, unfortunately, that has been my time. So, both of the wars being held back a bit at the moment due to the position of the enemy's settlements. Like, we can't really attack Chuyen properly because it's all in these hills, and we can't really attack uh, this city properly because of these hills as well. So, yeah. It, it's going to get interesting for sure, but uh, in the meantime, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>